Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Christine, this is Mr. Bangles, and that means you're watching Hobbit's Corner. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Today we are going to continue our journey and go through the rest of this fabulous box full of jewelry. We started this box maybe four videos ago, and then we got into opening those uh, cute little boxes. So I thought we'd go back to this and take a look and see what treasures are inside here today. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll take our first piece out. And it is this lovely owl hinge bracelet. In really good condition. It's got this lovely gray marbling on it to make it look like feathers, which we don't usually see. It's usually a solid color on the ones that I have. This is a pretty nice find. Good condition. No maker's marks, but still a pretty bracelet. Our next piece is this coconut necklace. It's pretty big. It is corded. Got some nice coconut cutouts. Knotted here and wrapped. It's very large. Coconut is such a neat material, natural. I like it when they don't dye it colors. That's cute, very big. Hopefully we don't have a lot of tangles tonight. A lot of stuff in this box. It's a very pretty multi-strand. These are just plastic beads, beautiful mauves, pinks, that dark purple, and I love the gun metal on this beautiful pendant. This is a very nice, lightweight, fun necklace. Very pretty. In really, really good condition. Got a few necklaces here that we're gonna pull out. I'm putting them on the arm of the camera holder, so if it shakes, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> All right. This is a. Double strand. These are pretty beads. I don't much like how they're strung, but um, I love the color. And I like these translucent beads as well. I would probably take these off and make something else. This um, wire, once it gets kinked, it's pretty much done for, but these are. Uh, going to be fun to work with. And they're different because they're not all circular. They've got texture to them, which I like. So we'll put those off on the side in our salvage, salvage area. Cute little vintage-y looking minimalist and a statement necklace, very tiny. I like the burnt sienna look. I believe that's what it's called. It's nice as well. Pretty necklace. There's another one, another statement piece. So this is nice. It's very bright silver, good condition. Love these little discs. Rectangles, I guess, sorry, not discs. 
They remind me of the Merci chocolates that you would get in a box. But I love the mint color. Remind me of also bamboo. Very pretty. Let's take a look at the back. That really reminds me of bamboo. Great condition though. That would be fun to wear, wouldn't it? I think so. Ooh, what's this one? So, got that. And then, sorry, my chair is creaky. This wasn't what I was grabbing, but that is a cute, uniquely shaped. Looks like a choker. Maybe it's missing something. Doesn't look like you could wear that. It looks pretty though. This is the one I was going for. Oh, my dog is dreaming. I can hear him. <laughs> Hopefully he's dreaming about running. Can you hear him? Listen. Nana. Nana. You okay? <laughs> it was like feet were going and everything. This is uh, different. Like a gentleman carved on there. And on the back, there's another person. It's like a double-sided pendant. Well, that's neat. This chain is um, very offensive. This, even though this is very brutalist to me, it probably could have had something more dainty but sturdy to, to carry it. But there's even like a flower carved in here. Do you see that? Hmm. I'll have to look into that. That's interesting. It's very heavy. This is pretty. It's a faux leather bracelet. It's a cute little, looks like stainless steel magnetic clasp. It's in very good condition. That's nice. And we have a rose gold and silver rhinestone watch. This looks like stainless steel. Sturdy. Made in China. It's a nice watch though. I have so many watches. There's another interesting piece. Cat necklace. It's like a die cast. Again on the gunmetal. We've got a couple of watches here. Some more. They look like they've been really well loved. These are both Anne Klein watches, and the leather bands are pooched. They're actually falling apart. One thing I noticed about Anne Klein watches is yeah, they're usually screw back. You have to undo the screws, yeah, see, to get the bands off, and then this one would be easy to replace with maybe some beaded or a new, a new leather strap, but this one would be more difficult. You could do fabric if you wanted. Oh, they're messy. I'll have to take those apart as soon as I can. Another hinge. Bolt tone this time. Good condition. It's pretty. Something on a card. Free to dare. Stainless steel. I love stainless steel. It uh, doesn't tarnish. It's very bright gold. A couple 
more bracelets. Beautiful. This is like a dark, dark bluish black stones. Very pretty. And it's got blue cording, which is nice. I actually like that. How do you put them on though? <laughs> you would need help because you've got to pull both these at the same time. It's very pretty though. And then we've got a bow snakeskin bangle. What do you think about snakes? I mean, I like them, but I'm terrified of them. I think they're neat. Like, some of them are very beautiful. I don't know. But they're creepy. This looks like Brighton. I believe that's Brighton with the bee. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. B. It's got the little luggage, heart, and a B. Adjustable. Let's put it over here. And then we got it's cute. These all came out together. Oh, there's another one. And there's another one. They were all attached. So we've got a series of different necklaces here. Let's do this one first. This is like a faux abalone. Made to look like abalone. Nice deep blue. Cute. Nice chain. It's one necklace. There's another one. Same thing. It's pretty. This is cute. A rainbow circle. I like that. Again, a nice chain. That is a nice chain. That's like a diamond cut chain. Very sparkly. None of them have any indicators of who made them. This is really pretty too. Beautiful. And it says NR on it. It's like an Avon piece. I do believe in NRs from the Avon family. This is a really long. Ooh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Paperclip chain on the top, which I love. A beautiful matted silver. Love these. And these are crystal beads. Some shell in between. And these are glass. Look at these two. They look like Brighton style. And again, that nicely cut chain at the bottom. This is really, really pretty. Really nice. Look at those. That would be lovely to wear, wouldn't it? Just lovely. It's probably my favorite so far out of the box. It's a handmade bracelet. Bright, beautiful colors. Ooh, looks like pewter. Beautiful cuff. Some nice etching in there. It does have something on the inside. Kirk pewter. And then on the other side it says chrysanthemum right in here. You won't be able to see it, but so this must be chrysanthemums. Very cool. This is very nice pewter bangle. Here's something cute. Let's see. 
a rose stick pin. It's a little bent. Maybe somebody wore this on their suit for a special occasion. It's a cute pair of pink bubblegum earrings. They literally look like bubblegum. They look older. Trying to pull things out without getting them all tangled. Oh goodness me, I think I failed. And the madness begins. I think we got ourselves a hot mess, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, wait a minute. It might be good. It might be good. <gasps> okay, we got quite a few pieces out of there. I think this is one big piece. Yeah, I think. We'll see. Here's our old friend again. Multi-layer. Eye-shaped. Metal necklace. This is in good condition. No tarnish on this. It's pretty. Yeah, that'd be fun to wear. It's a statement necklace. Kind of some Mayan style Aztec -y triangles. Pretty. Pretty standard. I like this piece, but the chain is pretty done for. All the finish has come off of it, but I love this. Thank God I could clean up. Even with the age on it, you can tell it's older. We could put that on. Maybe a Sarah Coventry chain that I have. It's beautiful. I love that. So we'll do something with that. Is this all one piece? I don't know. Looks like it is. So we've got wood, some marbled plastic. Some faux tortoise shell kind of in the light color, it looks like. That's what it looks like to me anyway. So we do have a tank. Oh, it's Charming Charlie. This is a four strand, very long necklace. I don't know about this piece. It looks very messy to me. I find it. Oh, maybe it's just not my style. Can't bake on this. It's pretty though, but definitely would be for someone who really likes this kind of style. It's not something I would pick for myself, but it's got some neat things going on in there. It is a clean looking necklace. Just messy. Did that make sense? It was an oxymoron, wasn't it? Is that what you call them? Clean but messy. By what I mean by that is its colors are clean and crisp, but its style is messy. I don't like messy. Unless I'm really lazy. This is really cool. This screams sorbet. Everything is food to me. <laughs> love this. These are acrylic. I love this wave in the pendant. Let me take this cuff off, okay? This needs to be really strong. I just look at the colors of that. Beautiful marbling. I don't see beads like that anymore. And these are all plastic, they need to look like that brassy finish. Isn't that gorgeous? 
very different, isn't it? Matches our mat, our crayons, and pencil crayons. Another gorgeous animal print piece. Some wood. And some nice chain. Another really long piece. Hmm. These are pretty. It's a neat piece. Can't really show you what it looks like. There you go. Can you see that? Super long. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. There's another statement necklace. A few things here. So we can do. Purple color, missing one little rhinestone there. Black painted chain. This is look like it looks like it's made to look Victorian. It's all plastic. I believe these would probably be mirrored on the back. Yes, to give them that look. This is interesting though, isn't it? It's a neat piece. Different. It's another necklace. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. This is quite nice. I like the way it drapes. Very pretty. Lots of chain. Simple, but elegant. Reminds me of the Roaring Twenties, like a flapper's dress or skirt. Honestly, I think I was born. Maybe I've lived other lives. I don't know. I love period dramas. I've mentioned it before. I love anything vintage. I love the clothes and the fashion and... Some, sometimes things remind me of, of that. I feel like, I don't know, did I live then? <laughs> Who knows? This is a cute vintage necklace. Really pretty navy blue beads. They've got black in them too, which is nice. They're marbled. Those are cute. And this is broken, I can see. Looks like it came out. Yeah. This is older as well. These are interesting beads, plastic. These are metal. This would have been nice. And it's heyday. Almost looks like clay, but it's not. Neat. Oh, here's another statement necklace. How does this work? Oh, oh, I like this. It's a little scratched, but I think it adds to it, to be honest. I love that little teardrop there. This is really pretty. I love the articulation of it. It's well made. It's still in good shape. This has to have some kind of name on it. It's amazing. And it doesn't. Oh wait, does it right there? No. Nope. That's too bad. That is super duper nice, isn't it? 
will move over because the next piece is even better. <laughs> now look at this. Natural. Big. On this beautiful cord. You know I'm joking, right? It is cute, though. Gotta give the shell its time. Well, someone made it, too, which is neat. Anyways, <laughs> I'm being silly. All right, what else do we have in here? Here's another nice piece. Oh, I like this. This is me. The last three, a uh, couple pieces before the shawl. This is gorgeous. I love this big stone, and it's a toggle clasp, but at the pendant. Nice cut glass. Look at that chain. It's beautiful. And the toggle clasp has rhinestones on it. I love this piece. I'll probably keep this one. I love that. I don't know if it's a choker style, I wouldn't be able to wear it, but it is pretty. This looks like soda light, I think. Again, another big necklace. These nice cutouts of soda light. Look at this. There's some wear. I think this is just the air. I think if I clean it, it will come clean. It's another segment. I love this. But you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking make it smaller. Use these segments in a bracelet. And use these as the main part of the necklace with a couple of these. And then you could have two pieces of jewelry. I don't know what that was. Did you hear that? I think it was the bracelet. It agreed with me. It's like, do it. That kind of scared me for a second. So I think that's what we'll do with this. But it's pretty. The owl bracelet tipped over and made that weird shaking noise, but it scared me. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. This is uh, really cute. Oh, I remember these beads. See these beads here? When I was younger, I used to make things with these beads. This is very retro looking, isn't it? With this pendant, it's a double layer of acrylic. Very funky. Lightweight. Oh, we have something in a bag. I love when they come in baggies. This is interesting. Beautiful pendant. It's got a strip of black. It's silver. A really nice chain. I love that. Very pretty. So far, there's a couple of pieces I really, three pieces I really, really like. There's another. Another pendant. Some beautiful stones in there. Gunmetal. Really neat. These um, looks like a um, uh, is this more than one? What's going on here? Oh. 
think we've seen this before. I think I was frustrated with this before. I do recall. Seed beads. What else do we have? Let's pull, let's do these last few chunkies. There's a very pretty pastel chunky acrylic necklace. It's very fun. And we have this one, which is equally as fun. Beautiful teal. These are fabric wrapped beads. A little dirty. Some dark navy, some crystals, and some beautifully cracked marble blue beads. Those are plastic, but they're really cute. So this is a pretty necklace. It's fun. Memory wire seed bead bracelet. A couple of other bracelets. This is crystal bicones. Cute little clasp. This is some ch chipstone. Looks like a handmade, some handmade pieces. That might be silver. That is a cute necklace. Got a cute little clasp on it. And those are glass beads. These are interesting. They are not round. They're like rondelles. That's the shape of them. It's very heavy. Feels really good. Like made well. I really like that too. Um, and the tight. Little stag horn on it. It's an interesting piece. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Oh, double strand, silver tone. There's some wear on the chain there. It's just the air getting at it. Clean that. I'm gonna do a couple of these and then we'll finish up and we'll do the rest another day. I'm just gonna pull out what looks like brooches. It's hard to tell, there's a lot of loose chain in here. Oh, there's a money clip or a tie clip. I don't know. Capital YMG Capital Management. Imagine if it said OMG Capital Management. Oh my gosh. So I got a lot of little scraggly things here we're going to pull out that look like pendants or lapel pins. We'll get those out. They're always fun to look at. Okay, I think that's good. I don't see any more. Oh, there's one more. I think that's it. The rest are just earrings. Oh, we have a locket. Look at that. A locket. Gotta like that. And then we've got a, a little bit. Oh, there's another one. All right, so let's take a look. So we did have this. Gold tone. Obviously, someone's work. Gave them that. Cute little Christmas boot. Look at those rhinestones. And there's a brooch. Very pretty. And they've got a variety club. Cute heart. And this is a neat little. Shield pin. Some nice stones in there. The same color, like blood red. This is a pin. Looks like someone bending down to help a child, maybe. 
And this is a briar bear. Don't know who that is. And then we have a Santa Claus pendant. Made on metal. DGSL baseball. And then this is a Croatian Fraternal Union. Very old Union pin. Canada pin. This is a Christmas tree brooch. Very pretty. Butterfly lapel pin. I've got a Handmade glass donut. Snow Valley Stars 555 Award. Not sure what that is. I got a cute pair of Christmas vintage enamel earrings. They look vintage. Maybe not. Pretty bright in the back. Perfect attendance for bowling in 83-84. I was 9 and 10 or 10. And then this was says uh, Sandra Lynn. And it is, it looks like it is a gold heart. So that's it. And that is it for today. It was a long video. Thank you for sticking with me. I think I'm sticking with the theme of I really liked the black and white today. <clears throat> gonna do something with this piece. Yeah, I think I was feeling the black and white tonight, wasn't I? I put all these pieces aside. I love these. And I even like this. This is really cute, too. And I think I like the Brighton bracelet. And that's it. Uh, oh. I put this in the wrong spot. But yes. This as well. This really cool statement necklace. So those are the things that really stood out for me this evening. Um, we'll finish up the rest of the box another day. And uh, we'll start to go back through those other boxes as well. Thanks so much everybody for stopping by. I hope you have a really great day tomorrow. And until next time, take care of yourselves.